So today I'm gonna to show you how I would take this book cover that I found and turn it into a vector drawing of the highest quality. And uh, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna zoom in and take a look at some of these leaves. And you notice how it's got this soft line and it's got this kind of cut out in the center. And so what I would do is I will take a vector tool using the application called Affinity Designer. And I'm gonna just put a dot here. And because I know it's gonna curve, I'm gonna put a dot here, 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 and here, and then back to home. And so you can see this strange set of lines here, which I'll make easier for you to see. I'll turn it into red. Uh, turn it into some color you can see. Let's see if we can find a color that works. It's not working. I think we're on the wrong side here. What happened? Why would it be? Okay, something's wrong. Okay, let's just check it out where we are. Oh, we're underneath a... a there's a box that's not checked here. We're going to put this outside of the box. Okay, fine. And here we go. So this is the line we're going to work with. And all you do then is come to the sub select button and then grab this leg or this line and place it wherever you want it. There's like a strange kind of thing going on here. I can't tell if it's sharp or soft. We can tighten it up a little bit. Here, I'm gonna add, that's a sharp one. I'm gonna do a smooth and I'm gonna give it a little bit of an arc. And I'll leave this one alone. Here, it's gonna bend out a little. This one ought to be smooth. And then put a little circle here to get a nice, nice curve. Here we go. And so you can see we have our shape and then it's got this strange little thing here. So in order to deal with that, we're just gonna put three dots. Also, I'll fix this one, I just don't like that. Okay, and we're gonna turn this one sharp and pull it up. Oops, look at that. So we'll just turn this, it's called smart. It's gonna hold its position, maybe not. We'll just do it old school and call it sharp. And then we'll put this baby in here and take a look at what we altered by mistake and come out. And that looks great. Okay, and so now we can color it very quickly by touching this, um, this tool here, which is the color. It's like an eyedropper. And we can just pick the color underneath it. That painted the line. I don't want to paint the line. I want to paint the shape. And just go here. And if we want to, we can add a little noise and turn it into gold. So I guess we're alchemists now. We can turn things into gold, but we don't need that now. It just adds weight. And um, that's pretty well a done shape, except that I want to change the opacity on this so we can see this line in the center here. And using the pen tool again, we're just gonna create three dots and three dots and then zoom in, make this super tight. And again, this one too, super tight. And we're just gonna take these two lines and the shape below and we're gonna come here and subtract. Now, when we take our color and go to opacity, and if we turn off this, this uh, line, we can, here's, okay. Now that becomes see-through. You can see how it's see-through. And that's kind of pretty for later. So that's our first line. And now like this one here is a duplicate of that. So we could just go here and go copy and go paste. And then we can just go over to this property transform tools and then just flip it and bingo, that's number two.
but we're not going to do that. And the reason why, let me delete that. The reason why is you have to look at the wider shape here and begin to see that this whole thing is symmetrical. And so what I would do then is just begin to, I, I understand how I'm going to conquer the, the flowers and the leaves. I would start working on this larger borderline, kind of get a feeling for it, like where is it all flowing? It's hard to tell at first, uh, but it's so, so like elegant. So let's just let's just kind of start hammering at it and see where it goes. So now we'll come here. I'll just pick any spot. And I know I can make a, a quick curve with my lines as I showed you. And so all I need to do is a couple of dots. And it gets complicated around here, but I'm going to avoid that. I'm just going to do the outer line. And that gives me a problem. I can't the outer line. I'm on the inner side of this shape and it's hard for me to explain so I'm going to show you. Let's see, I'll make this a little larger. Uh, didn't make it a color you can see. Even. Okay, here you go. So let's just start a little bit. We'll just, so this is the outside of the trunk of the tree or the vine. Got it here. We're gonna make some adjustment there later. But you can see how quickly this sets up. And you can see we're on the inside of this shape. And so where does it go from here? And it seems to go the other way. And, or actually it goes down this way, which is a reflection of this whole shape. So how do I, how do I stick with the one shape? And that's a good question. Let me just see for a second. Um, okay, so one answer would be to just dead end it right into the shape. I'm, instead of doing that though, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the easy part first. I'm gonna come here, add another dot, it altered our shape. Take that curve line back to where we kind of want it. Take this dot and move it to the other side because I'm trying to build the shape. Right? And just give it a little depth, a little width. Okay, we'll fix this later. And I'll bring this all the way. Whoa, I'll bring this all the way right here. see what's happening. So that's strange. So I'm going to give it a different kind of tool that allows me to go both ways. There we go. And you can see this could be quite therapeutic. It's really, really fun to do. And it's like a form of perfection, which is just fantastic because it's so easy to achieve and we'll come back down swing this around the lines just are so elegant okay and now we're down here take this again all the way to here and bingo that's pretty much it. And we'll take another line here, sharp, clean this back up, and close it. You want everything to be closed so that we can come back here and paint it quickly and remove this line on the outside. And so that's kind of our line. You can see it's messed up right here, and we can just quickly fix that. And so you can see how quick, quickly this is coming together. Later on, we'll, we'll deal with this area right here. We can come right into here like that and bingo. There's a little bit of a gap. And we can correct that like that. 
We can do it. We can add another dot on those sides. Hold on. We can add another dot here and here. And we can click and then click break. And now that broke the line here and here. And we can break this one, break. And you see what it did, it filled in the whole shape. And we can take a look at it. We're gonna keep this one. We're gonna take this one and we're gonna connect it to, let's see, no, we're gonna connect this one to that one like that. And then it won't let us. And so we have to figure that out. And that one's connected. Now what's going on here? Do this again, break, break, nope, okay, so don't do that, that's funny, uh, actually it might already be done, uh, yes it's already done, so what happened is it created two shapes, so this is the one shape, I'll paint it a different color so you can see, and it's underneath, and so now it's on top. Now you can see that it worked. And the way we'll deal with this is we can now take this, let's first of all, let's save this shape for later. I have a reason for that, I'll explain later. Copy, paste, and we'll just put one of these aside and turn it off. And the other one, we're gonna take this and the gold that we just did before, and we're gonna subtract. And it's done. And you can see what we did by removing the backgrounds and seeing what we're up to. So in order to speed this up a little bit, I can show you that I already did this part and that's not the exercise I wanna show you anyhow. So let's go back here and turn this on. Okay, where are you? Oh, it's up here, okay. Boom. And so I'm gonna turn off these shapes that I just made a second ago. I'm gonna group them and then turn them off. And now you can see what I've made before I started this video. And if you look back at our goal, you can see that we've, we've got this flower and leaf and this flower and leaf set up, which is identical to this one. This one's identical to this one. This line here and this line here are identical to that one. And so it looks like we're missing this one center uh, leaf right here. And the way we deal with this is like this. We're going to just take this shape that we have, and I'll, I'll turn it off and on so you can see it. And I'll just shift it slightly. Okay, and now we're going to Edit, copy, edit, paste. Okay, now we have two of them. And we'll come down here to the transform panel and then click this flip button. Boom. And then just set it into place. And that is exquisite. I'll turn off the shape below so you can see. That is just amazing that we did that. And um, this uh, area here snuck in. I did this earlier, this outside border. Um, there's another line here, if we go here and look at the book cover, you can see this is dark inside of here. And then this is a gorgeous like uh, Art Nouveau going on here in a deep color. And so it does the same exact process as before. And I would do it the same way. First of all, let me add that dark shape. And then I would come in here and I already um, did this part for you to save time. And I just gotta find it. Um, where'd it go? Oh, it turned off. It turned off at this high level. Let's see. So let's just take our time, relax.
there we go, that's the stars. And over here is our shape and our other shape, so that's fine. This is that center leaf that I was mentioning. Here it goes. And if you zoom in here, you see that there's like little dots. And I think that they're, first of all, they're very out of focus. And I think they would be nicer if we turn them into something like a star. And so I would, what I would do is I would come here to the shapes and choose one of these shapes. I picked a star. It could be a heart. It could be anything. And I would put a star in and paint it so we can see it. And so here's a star. And I kind of think it should be six-sided. I don't know why. It just feels better to me. And I'm going to go edit, copy, edit, paste. And I'm going to place that star there and come back here. Where are you? Where's my stars? They're in, a, they're in a locked group. That's why it's not able to see. And just get that right. Now, the way the tool wants you to work is it wants you to come over here to this thing called symbols right here. And it wants you to take this, click the little hamburger and add an asset from selection. So now we have a new symbol, which is this star. And then when you use it, you just insert. Okay, and we need to get rid of this star so that we're using the stars from this menu. And the reason for this, I'll show you in just a second. Whoops. Besides the fact that it saves memory, you can also change its properties. And if you change one, you change them all at the same time. So you see where I'm going? I can select them all, copy, whoops. Added one more. Let's just delete that one. I'm gonna cop, I'm gonna select all these at the same time, edit, copy, edit, paste, and then I can just shift this over. So you can see just how easy it is to make a pattern like this. And um, I can, if I want, I can grab all of these and do it again. Probably be good if I keep them inside of a group, so I don't have to do a thousand in a group later. So I'll just grab them again. Edit, copy, edit, paste. And so you can see how, whoops. I can just grow this thing so quickly. And it's kind of fun. And you can see this one, I don't want to keep this. I'm just going to delete it. And I'll just shift this one around. But you get the idea. I'm going to show you now that if we take one of these, if we take our primary one, this one, we can go here. And let's say we change the color. And they didn't all change. So I have to figure that out. That's for another lesson, and I'm going to deal with that another time. So right now, we'll come out here. We'll just delete this and come back to our project. And so here's the project. And... Here's a star we don't need. And we'll turn on this, which just turned on this dark color. And we'll change our background so it fits the page better. <clears throat> we can lock that so it doesn't happen again. Okay, and now we're still missing our stars. I made them for us. Here they go. There's half of them. And the other half of them should be on this side somewhere. I think I've duplicated my project. 
Let's see, where are you, stars? Getting a little bit lost. Just bundle it back up. Yeah, this is where I duplicated it to show you earlier. So we're just gonna turn off this one. Here, where are the stars? They're hidden underneath one of these things. Here they are. There, this is a duplicate because I was trying to show you how to build, how to duplicate things, so I duplicated it. And the other one is also right here. I think we have the whole thing duplicated. Yeah, everything's duplicated except for this. Just shift this down here out of the way. We'll take this one with us too. We need this and this. Keep those two, all that group together. And let's turn this off again and see if we have everything. Turn off our book cover. And that's everything. So all of this we don't need. Just deleted it. If you make a mistake, then all you do is go here and go back or go here and go forward. So here we just recreate it again. And again, I'll delete it. Okay, so now we have this gorgeous pattern. So what are we gonna do with it? Um, well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to export it with a transparent background so it can be placed on anything. And I think it should even be transparent here. Okay, so that could be placed on any other background underneath of it. And I'm gonna go export and give it a name. Actually, let's go back here and cancel this. Let's go back and give it a name. And we'll call this art. Uh, I'm going to give it a date. Today's date. Art. Well, today's year. New VO. Lines. Cover. Let's say OK. And now, now when I come here and do export, it already have the file name in it that's consistent. I think 600 pixels by 600, 6,000 by 6,000 pixels is pretty good. And it's generating the file size here. It's less than two megs. And I'm gonna send it to the iPad, um, to my folder on a cloud. That will be given away to the Art Nouveau group for free. Now, now that I have this, what do I wanna do with it? So if I come back in here and I give it back its backgrounds, okay, and then I come up to, to, where are you? Okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to grab something here. We're going to have a little fun. So let's stop the video now. I'll come right back.